Welcome to Excel Med Strip number 1215. If you want to download this workbook file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1212, we asked the question, what to do if you filter your data set and the chart disappears? Now, I had a, a solution there, but in the comment sections, Micah and Awafi offered up an awesome alternative to what we saw in that video. And it's quite a bit easier. Now, here's the deal. We want to make a line chart on date and adjusted close price. So I'm clicked in the top cell, Control Shift down arrow to highlight all the way to the bottom. I'm holding the Control key, and then I'm going to click on the last price. And now I'm going to hold Control Shift and up arrow. I've highlighted the two non adjacent columns. Now I go to Insert. And this is a line chart. And there we have our line chart. Now here's what we did. We went ahead and turned on the filter, because we want to be able to filter the data set and have the prices show up just for the filtered record. So I'm going to click in a single cell, go up to Data, and click on the Filter button, or use Control-Shift-L. Now I'm going to go over to Date. And I want to see just January. So I uncheck all, click January, click OK. And the chart works perfectly. Look at that. Over here, I can see the data set is filtered. Ah, but when I go back over and uncheck every, uncheck everything and click on February and click OK and click OK. What happens to my chart? Well, because filter hides some rows, there's rows between 7 and 29 that are hidden. And then a bunch below, it's hiding the chart. I'm going to unfilter. And now watch this. I'm going to click on the chart. In 2013 and later, you can right click and go to Format Chart Area, or just Control-1 to open up the Task Pane. This task pane shows up for all objects. And now I want to go over to this. This is Size and Properties. And down here, this is usually Uncollapse. You collapse properties. And we want to say, don't move or size with cells. And when I check that, now if I close this and come over here and filter, now I can do whatever I want. And that thing is not going to change. I'm going to uncheck everything and say February. Give me February. Boom, it works. Now I'm going to uncheck February and go to July, just like that. We have our July. Now I'm going to come back over here and totally unfilter and check that out. It's back to normal sitting at the top. Man, I love that Properties option. And I love hanging out on our online Excel team with Micah and Al Afi. All right, we'll see you next trick.